What is up everybody? Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at designs from FANG, which is an acronym for all the big tech giants. That's Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. And we're gonna see if I can improve these designs. And it's just some aspect of the designs. And I'm gonna take these in order from, okay, I maybe I, I wasn't able to do, you know, a biggest redesign ever all the way to the very last one where I think I was able to knock it out of the park. I'm serious, the last one, I want you to stick to the very end. The last one looks like it was a design from 2009. And to make this fun, before you watch though, let us know which company you think did the worst. Like which one that, you know, looks like they have that 2009 design. Uh, let me know in the comments. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get started and make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Now wait one second, you're about to watch me talk about and show UI UX design. Now, what if you're not a very good UI designer? You should definitely check out my UI design bootcamp at scrimba.com. At scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, 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 you're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. All right, so here is the first one, Apple, okay? So I had a very difficult time trying to find anything wrong with Apple's design. They were the ones that had basically the best design from compared to all the other uh, companies. I had to nitpick. Um, this is a slideshow of one of the pages. I, I seriously looked at 10 to 15 different pages. Um, they're all designed you know, differently, but they, they still have a nice uh, consistent aesthetic. But um, I just had to nitpick on this one. So can't really read this type down here based on the position of this. So to recreate that, I simply kind of reposition this photograph right here to leave some white space. And then we can simply put the title and the subtitle right here. So there's the original and here they are compared to each other. I think, you know, we could say objectively, this is definitely better. It's certainly readable, but not a huge difference. Um, awesome designers at Apple, obviously. Um, and this is the only thing I can nitpick. So next one, Netflix. All right, this one, not too bad. Um, I saw this area, this is on their homepage, you know, um, this is the hero section to try to capture your email address to either create or restart a membership. Um, I didn't like the placement of the email address placeholder field right here. This is a floating label, by the way. Um, There's not enough white space over here compared to the top and bottom. It just feels kind of pushed over. I also didn't really like just the get started type. It just looked like no thought was put into it. It's just like Arial or whatever, although it's very readable. Um, and I also didn't really like the visual hierarchy separation between um, the, the type the, the type elements right here. So um, for the most part, I keep it pretty similar, although there is some changes. So here's uh, mine, pretty similar uh, headline. Mine's a little bit bolder. Um, that way I can also bold this one. We have enough of a, of a degree of separation between the scale to where there's still good visual hierarchy here. Um, and then I made a change here in terms of the layout, um, in terms of alignment, text alignment. Instead of just centering the email right here, um, I decided to left align this um, according to the column that's kind of created here by the left side of the input field. Um, and I also changed the type a little bit too. Um, here's the placeholder field, but I also decided to uh, shorten the type right here because they had a pretty long amount of type here. Um, and they just kind of put this secondary information underneath um, entering your email will create or restart your membership. So this is the original and this is my version right here. So we can compare the two right here. Again, not a huge difference. Uh, a good amount of white space here though. Uh, I didn't feel like there was a, a decent amount of white space. It kind of just kind of runs together a little bit. Um, that way we can separate um, the headline, subheadline, and then you have your form element separated here um, visually with this, this white space. Again, not a huge change. Next up, Google. All right, so probably the single layout that's been viewed the most in human history, I would imagine, is the search results. Um, this particular, I, I want to redesign this section right here. Um, because as you know, depending on whether or not you viewed a site before, and depending on whether or not they have subpages that are listed here in, in the results, 
you can see this one has a lot going on and it just seems like a big run on mess. And again, this is one of those areas where primarily white space will help I uh, kind of create a better structure rather than just this big run, just it's like a run on sentence in my opinion. So pretty much keeping things almost all the same except for spacing. So we have the URL and this section here. Um, again, a little bit more white space than what they had. Also, we have the pages down here. Again, a little bit more white space there. And I also decided to make this bold uh, because when you increase the white space between your elements, they could feel sometimes a little bit more disconnected naturally because they're separated out further. By making this portion right here um, a bold, a, a thicker weight, we'll know for sure that this stuff down here is in relation because we've established a typographic visual hierarchy. Um, so if we look at the original, and now let's compare them. Now you can see, again, it seems just very run-on-ish in my opinion. And then right here, we're kind of separating out things. Um, we could probably stand to reduce a little bit the white space here and maybe not exaggerate as much as I did. Uh, but still, I, let me know what you think. I personally prefer this, obviously, because I designed it. Let me know what you think. Now, I do have to say, they may have tested this. Uh, if there's one company that would have uh, the ability to test and get instant results with the amount of traffic they have, they maybe if they've they maybe they've tested. I, pr I probably wouldn't doubt it. So I, I could be wrong. You know, this might not perform as good. Next up is Amazon. All right, so. This one it, again, it's not it's not too bad. They, they these are obviously are the testimonials here or the reviews rather, um, and it's it's not bad. I but I think I could improve it a little bit. So I uh, we have the username at the top just like they did, and this time I decided to really bold the title, and I decided to move this section over here and write a line it over here reviewed in the United States on April 9 2000 or 2020 so I let's just keep on going and then we'll compare them afterwards and then we have the reviews right here they had the reviews the very first thing that you saw and then they had the title over here to the right I decided just to put it down and then also the verified purchase right next to it um, then we have the actual view itself 48 people found this helpful and then helpful and then you know report of use uh, right down here. So here's the original. And it just seems like, again, there's not a lot of structure um, because of a lack of white space, vertical white space, really. So here's mine. And then there's theirs. And then let's go ahead and compare the two. Um, I think there's just more structure to mine. Um, this seems like, again, like run on ish. It's, it's, it's kind of just crammed there. And right here, we have a lot more separation between the elements and it's just easier to read in my opinion. Let me know what you think, of course. You could completely disagree with me. And then finally, Facebook. So I this one, I, I think I did the best job of all of them in terms of a redesign. I There's just a number of issues here. First of all, the alignment is just all out of whack. I mean, we have a column established here, a column established here, a column established here. It, all this stuff just needs squashed and left aligned. Next up is just an outdated design. I'm not sure if you can see this, but in this people and pages buttons, this is an old school aesthetic from like 2009 with these inner um, gradients that you have here along combined with the borders. So just the borders all over the place, um, outdated design. Let's see what we can do to fix this. So the first thing I did was take uh, browse places and check out our new in, uh, improved places directory. Kind of made this bigger, a little bit more white space, and I properly left the line appropri appropriately left aligned it based on where the F begins here. So if you look at mine, it's going to start right there. It just creates a better flow. Next up, we have places allows you to see where your friends blah blah blah. Again. A good amount of white space here. If you look at theirs, not much at all. It's all crammed together. After that, uh, this is the search bar. They had theirs up close, which kind of just creates a clutter of forms up here because you have the login and then you have this. And there's also, you know, it's small and wonky looking like this. So I decided just to beef it up a little bit, move it down, and then that way, you know, this important. Uh, actionable item, you know, 
will deserve its own space essentially. Next up, this is a big redesign. Um, we'll take a look at theirs at the end because we're almost done with my redesign. Um, I greatly simplified it, you know, went back to flat design essentially. Uh, there's no gradients and stuff, there's no borders, uh, but we're just using the same hue, but we're just, you know, using various um, tints of it uh, and shades to, to separate these important areas. And then finally, we have the actual cards here. They have four listed out, and it just looks real cluttered. I decided just to go three, uh, three columns, three by three, and let's look at the original. Here's mine, and let's compare them next to each other. All right, so you can see clearly, this is the best redesign, I think, of all. Um, I personally prefer it like a million times. Let me know what you think I, about this one as well in the comments. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. If you disagree, if you think I just completely suck and um, I did a worse job on all of them, I don't care. I wanna know what you think. Let me know. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.